always good. He never fails. He never disappoints. He never forsakes us. He's always because he's our father. Thank you, Jesus. The God of the mountain is the God in the valley. When things go strong, he's going to make them right. The God of the good time is still God in the bad time. The God of the day is still God of the night. If you know the song, please sing along with me. The God of the mountain, it's the God of the valley. When she's no strong, gonna make the bride. The God of the mountain, Hallelujah. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Oh, Lord.
Father, restore me, O 
when you eat, you become satisfied. There are some people that will eat, but they are not still satisfied. They are still looking for something else to satisfy their, their hunger. But Bible says that when we eat, we will be what? Satisfied. Amen. We will eat and we'll be satisfied. And we shall praise the name of the Lord our God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Say it to yourself. The Bible said in Jewel 25 today, in the book of Jewel, chapter 2, verse 26, that I, Jumanya, will not be ashamed. That I, Sister Vanessa, I will not be ashamed. That I, Pastor Jeff, I will not be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. No matter what the enemy does, Sister Sonia, you will not be ashamed. Nobody will be ashamed. Sister Nuala will not be ashamed. You shall not be ashamed. Sister Sophia, you will not be ashamed. Sister Esther, you will not be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. Because that is the word of the Lord concerning my life. Amen. I will not Amen. be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. What is restoration? Restoration is to bring something back. To bring something back to its original state. To its original state. To bring something back to its original state. Amen. Amen. That means something Amen. has come back that it. Something has tampered that thing. So when the Bible says restoration, that means something has happened to that particular thing. Something has happened to it. But Bible is not encouraging or that I will bring it back, back to its original state. Amen. I'm Amen. To bring it back to its original state. It does not matter how long it has taken. Amen. A lot of things that the enemy has stolen from us, the Lord will restore it back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I can see an army. An army that is ready to rise up and take back from the enemy what the enemy has stolen from them. That is what God is looking for. An army that will rise and take back everything that the enemy has stolen from them. Amen. We are not going to keep quiet. Since the Lord has promised us that he will restore us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church of God needs to be restored. Amen. The church of God needs to be restored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our marriages needs to be restored. Amen. The enemy has tampered some of our marriages. The enemy has tampered the body of Christ. It needs to be restored. The Lord has promised that he will restore us. He will restore. Our zeal for the service of the Lord needs to be restored. Amen. Our relationship with God needs to be restored. Our God-given vision needs to be restored. Our purpose for living needs to be restored. Amen. Amen. Brethren, we need to be restored. We cannot remain like this. We need to be restored. Something has tampered it. Something has gone wrong. We need to be brought back to our original state. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. need to be brought back to our original state. The church of God has been bewitched. If you look at the thing that is happening in the house of the Lord, you see that something has gone wrong. Who has bewitched the church of God? A lot of evil is going on in the house of the Lord. A lot of evil is happening. A lot of heresies. A lot of blasphemies. Hallelujah. Something is wrong. The church of the Lord needs to be restored. Amen. The enemy has allowed every accosting into the house of the Lord. The enemy has introduced accosting into the house of the Lord. The enemy has caused us to sin against our God. It has delayed our restoration. But we are not going to wait anymore. We are going to cry out to God and say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough for that restore me. I want to go back to my original state. There is a purpose why you created me. I want to go back to that state. Amen. Amen. He will restore us. He will restore us. He will restore us. Amen. Amen. If you look carefully what is going on in the house of the Lord. A lot of things. People are not turning away from the truth. People are not compromising. They are not compromised. They are not compromised. What is going on? What is going on? Let's open our Bible to Joshua 6. Joshua 6, 6, 18. Praise the Lord. Joshua 6. Joshua 6. We are going to be reading from verse 18. Joshua 6, 6, 18. I read. He said, Depart not thence, I pray thee, until I come unto thee, and bring forth my present and set it before thee. And he said, I will tarry until thou come again. Hallelujah. Amen. I will tarry. Evil is prevailing against the church of God. Evil is prevailing against the church of God. 
Christians that are supposed to be strong now, they are becoming weaker and weaker. And the enemy is waxing stronger and stronger against the church of the Lord. If an enemy can go on dry fasting for days in order to work against the church of God, what are we doing, Christians? Are we, are we going to continue keeping silent? Are we going to continue keeping quiet? Evil is prevailing against the church of God. Evil is prevailing. Can't you see what is going on in the world? The church of God is collapsing. The, our love for Christ is becoming cold. It's becoming cold. We have lost that first law, that first law. If you could remember the first time that you gave your life to Christ, there is this love, this joy in your heart. There is this peace in your joy in your heart. Most of us, we have lost it. We will cry and ask the Father, restore me. Restore me because I don't want to remain like this. Restore the joy of my salvation from the song that we sang. There is a joy in serving the Lord. It needs to be restored. There is this peace that comes when you decide to follow Christ. There is this peace that comes when you decide to, 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 to do things for the Lord. Most of us, we have lost it. We have lost that joy. We have lost that peace. That's why we are crying for restoration. That's why we are crying for restoration. Hallelujah. People are now interested in, in, a prophecy, in prophecy. That's why those ones that are interested in prophecy, the enemy is now using the spirit of necromancy against them. Hallelujah. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. A lot of our costing in the hands of the Lord. That's the one we pray, we pray, we pray. The Lord is not answering. He said that we shall call up. Why is it that the Lord is not answering? Hallelujah. The accosting has taken over the church of God. The accosting has taken over the church of God. If you love the church of the Lord, this is the time for you to cry. Cry unto the Lord. And say, Lord, don't allow the enemy to prevail against your church. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Father, don't allow the enemy to prevail against your church. Because the church is still on the earth. Father, don't allow the enemy to prevail against your church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your cousin has taken over the church of God. They are causing us taking about the church of God. And we Christians, we are sleeping. Hallelujah. Let's go to Jeremiah 52. Jeremiah 52. Jeremiah 52. The book of Jeremiah 52. Jeremiah 52. We're going to be reading <clears throat> from verse 31. Let's see what happened. So the king, the king, drank him. Drank him, drank him. Jeremiah 52 from verse 31, I read. And it came to pass in the seventh and thirtieth year of the captivity of Joachim, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the, in the twelfth month. Amen. And it came to pass in the seventh and thirtieth year of the captivity of Joachim, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the five and twentieth day of the month, that evil Medaki, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Joachim, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of the prison. This is the king. Bible said that we are kings and queens. But this I'm talking about earthly king that went into prison until another king went and do what? And we braided him and set him free. Hallelujah. Most of us, most of the church of God, that is how they are. They are in prison, waiting for someone to come and be prayed them. Most of Christians this day, they are in prison, not knowing that they are in prison. That's what the Lord said that he will restore us. He has heard our cry. Now he's coming to restore. Hallelujah. He's coming to restore. A whole king. A whole king was in prison until when help came for him. Until when help came. Hallelujah. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. First Samuel 30, verse 8. 
1 Samuel. 1 Samuel, we are going to be reading from verse 30. 1 Samuel 30, verse 8. 1 Samuel 38, I read. Amen. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Amen. Did you see that? Did you see that? He said, Pursue. Pursue. David is a man that understands restoration. He understands what restoration is all about. He inquired by the Lord. He said, Shall I pursue? The Lord encouraged him. Pursue. Pursue them. Don't delay. Don't waste time. Because David understands what restoration is all about. So we don't need to wait. When you notice an evil going around you, don't wait. Pursue. Bible said pursue. Overtake. Because when you overtake your enemies, you will surely recover all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot pursue your enemy without recovering. No, it's not possible. That is not the promise of the Lord concerning us. He said, when you pursue your enemies, you will overtake. And when you overtake, you recover all. That is restoration. When you recover, that means you are restored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Genesis 32. Genesis 32. Verse 22 and 31. Genesis 32. Amen. Genesis, Genesis. 32. Yeah, yeah, my sister, right up. 32, 21, yes. and 22. Yes. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his 11 sons and passed over the Ford Jabba. Amen. Continue, continue, continue. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone and they out wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he tapped the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go. How can he let him go? It's not possible. You have never stopped me now. He knows Jacob needs restoration. He knows that he has suffered so much. He knows and understands that this is not my rightful position. No, this is not the way God met me. That was why he wrestled with the angel. He said, let me go. He said, no, I cannot leave you. I cannot leave you because I suffered so much. Because I know that this is not my name. The Jacob that I'm bearing is not mine. This is not my name. Hallelujah. He wrestled. He has to fight with the angel. Hallelujah. Verse 31, I read. Verse 31. And as he passed over Benue, the sun rose upon him and he halted upon his thighs. Amen. Amen. When you read it down, you will understand it. When you read it, you understand. He wrestled. Jacob never kept quiet. He never kept quiet. He was so disturbed about his condition. He was not satisfied about his state. He needed restoration. He needed restoration. Hallelujah. He needed restoration. Anything that God restores is forever. Is forever. It lasts forever. When God changes you from where you are and takes you to your original self, to your original position, it is forever. Just like the case of Jabez, he cried unto the Lord. The Lord changed him and restored him. The Lord restored him. He removed sorrow, sorrow, sorrow from his life. He tested restoration. Hallelujah. Jabez tested restoration. When God restores you, it gives you joy. Anytime God restores you, it gives you joy. Anytime God restores you, it gives you peace of mind. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Anytime God restores you, God that has been running the race before you, when you start your own race, you see yourself overtaking them. Because when he restores, he gives you grace to finish strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he restores you, he gives you the grace to finish strong. Sometimes we see ourselves doing things by ourselves. But when God decides to step in, once he steps in, the whole thing changes. The whole thing changes. Those that started before you, they'll be running, 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 running. But once you start your own race, my dear, it becomes something else. They will ask you, what did you do? They will say, what did you do? What happened to you? Hallelujah. I want you to bend down and close your eyes. Say, Lord, restore me in the name of Jesus. Just say this prayer as we continue. Father, Lord, restore me, Lord. Father, Just like Jacob did, Lord. Me. Change my name. Father, restore me, Lord me. Jesus. Father, restore, restore me. me. I need your restoration upon my life. Me, Lord. I need the restoration Lord, upon I need my marriage. The restoration in my life. I need the restoration Lord, upon I need my life. Restore my glory, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Restore my glory, Lord. Restore me, 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 Lord. Restore me,
-hmm. If you want restoration, you have to desire it. It does not just happen. The woman with the issue of blood, she desired it. Hallelujah. David did not just sit in his home. No. When the enemy came and stole everything, no. David did not say, oh, after all, all is well. All is not well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David had to pray to the Lord. And the Lord promised him, go and pursue your enemies. Pursue them. Surely you will do what? You will overtake them and you shall recover. The name of Jesus. You shall recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shall recover. What of Daniel? Daniel prayed to God. His prayers were hindered. His prayers were suspended. By Prince of Persia. But then Daniel, he never shut his mouth. He never kept quiet. He kept on pressing, pressing forward. When we pray for one month, two months, one year, two years, God did not answer. He said, ah, what's the essence of prayer? What's the essence of prayer? But look at Daniel. Then I never, he never gave up. He continued. He continued to press on. So when somebody, you are holding something that belongs to somebody, and you now notice that the person has kept on disturbing you. Are you going to continue holding on to that thing? It's not possible. When you see a little child, maybe the child is eating biscuit. You now collected the biscuit from the child. <laughs> and you now raise your hand up. It is our adage. When you now raise your hand up that biscuit, when you are tired holding that biscuit up, you will bring your hand down. And when you bring your hand down, the little child will do what? Will collect his biscuit from you. Hallelujah. Then I never gave up. Let's go to Psalm 24. Psalm 24, verse 1. Psalm, Psalm 24, 1. Yes, my sister. Amen. Psalm 24, verse 1. I read from here. Amen. 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 Oh, sorry. I was over there. Psalm 24, 1, I read. Amen. And the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world. What a promise. What a promise. God bless you, my sister. What a promise. That means everything that is in this earth. Do you understand that Bible verse? He said the earth is of the Lord, not of devil, not of Satan, not of the agent of darkness. The earth is of the Lord. And you are what? The salt of the earth. That means everything that belongs to God belongs to you, a child of God. Hallelujah. Everything that God owns, it also be what? Belongs to you. You have the same authority in Christ Jesus. You have the same privilege. That's why we call him Abba Father, our Father. Your Father, my Father, our Father, the creator of the heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. The Amen. earth is of the Lord and his fullness thereof. Amen. Amen. Isn't this God wonderful? Isn't this God wonderful? This God is a good God. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. Restoration. I don't know what the enemy has stolen from you, but I have an assurance for you that the Lord that restores Jacob, that restored Daniel, that restored everything that we have lost, he is coming for you. Hallelujah. He is coming for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, there are some things that can linger restoration. There are things that can linger restoration. Things that can linger restoration. There are things that can linger restoration. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. Things that can linger restoration. 
Isaiah chapter 6. We're going to be reading from verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1. He says, in the year that King Uzziah died, Uzziah has to die. Hallelujah. Uzziah died. I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his strength filled the temple. If you read it from verse 1 to down, you will understand this Bible verse very well. The things that can linger, linger restoration. When your Uzziah is still alive, it can linger your restoration. Uzziah has to die for Isaiah to see the Lord. Hallelujah. Uzziah has to go for you to see restoration. Uzziah has to go for you to see the glory of God shining upon you. Hallelujah. Restoration. Restoration. God is not a man who cannot lie. Uzziah has to go. Because if Uzziah remains alive, it's going to linger my restoration. It's going to delay my restoration. It's going to delay it. You want to see clear. You have to allow your Uzziah to go. You want to answer your calling. You have to allow your Uzziah to go. You want to witness the glory of God. You have to allow your Uzziah to go. Hallelujah. Anytime Uzziah decides to sit upon a church, <laughs> the church is gone. Anytime Uzziah decides to sit on the church of God, that church can never see the glory of God. They will be blind, just like Isaiah was blind before. Until Uzziah has to go, he starts to see. He starts to see the glory of God manifesting in his life. Hallelujah. There are a lot of Uzziah has taken over our calling. The Lord has been calling us since. The Lord has been begging us, why can't you work for me? But we allow Uzziah to stay alive in our calling. How can we work for the Lord when Uzziah is still alive? Hallelujah. How can we answer this call? When Uzziah is still alive, you know your own Uzziah. Hallelujah. We want restoration. Your own Uzziah might be different from my own. Your own might be sins of the heart. Your own Uzziah might be besetting sin. Your own Uzziah might be fornication. Your own Uzziah might be lying. You lie a lot. Hallelujah. Uzziah. Your own Uzziah might be bribery and corruption. The church of God cannot manifest. If we continue to allow Uzziah to sit upon the church, we have to unseat the Uzziah so that he will allow us to see the glory of God. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling us. The Lord is calling you and I. There is no time. The Lord is calling us. Why can't you answer? When we answer our calling, that is the beginning of our restoration. Hallelujah. When I was growing up, they said, go and answer your call. If you want this to be okay for you, go and answer your call. Go and answer your call. Go and answer. I said, which call? I said, I'm not answering. He said, go and answer your call. I have to pay a price before I could answer it. The Lord of death with me. So as a child of God that the Lord has been calling, he has been looking for you. If you continue to allow that Uzziah to stop your restoration, it will take forever. And if you cannot unsee your Uzziah, it will take, it will take forever. You may not see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uzziah is a spirit of oppression. Spirit of affliction. It afflicts you from head to toe. Hallelujah. Uzziah is stagnation. Everything becomes stagnated. No movement, nothing moves. Nothing moves. Hallelujah. Uzziah is spirit of deafness. When Uzziah is still alive in your life, it brings deafness and blindness, spiritual blindness. Spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Hallelujah. The next thing that can hinder restoration is when you allow sin to dwell in you. You drink sin like water. Sin is a destroyer. Sin, it keeps you down, down, down. You cannot rise. When you allow sin in your life, it keeps you down, down, down. You cannot raise your head, no way. 
Anytime you want to start depressing sugar and say, where are you going? That is what sin does. Success in nothing. That is the meaning of sin. Success in nothing. Sin takes you back to square one. It takes you back to square one. You might be running, 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 running. All of a sudden, the most they say, remember, it, it draws you back. Back to square one. Hallelujah. See. See. Hallelujah. Let's go to 1 Peter 3 12. 1 Peter. If you need restoration, we should not allow sin to stop us. We should not allow sin to stop us. We should not allow sin to take over our lives. We should not allow sin. Because how can we be living in sin and be expecting God to restore us? It's not possible. God cannot give what is holy to the dog. No. God cannot give what is holy to dogs. Because they will not know the value. They will not know the value. Hallelujah. First Peter 3, verse 12. He said, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto our prayers. For the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Are you doing evil? What is the evil that you are doing? And you are expecting restoration. The Lord is asking you. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So if I'm doing evil, I cannot be expecting restoration. What is the evil that you are doing? The Lord is asking us. What is the evil that you are doing? The face of the Lord is against you. Hallelujah. Sin destroys. You will build, 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 build. Once sin enters, it brings you down. When there is unbelief, are you doubting God's word? Are you doubting his word? When there is unbelief in our heart, restoration will linger. If we have unbelief in our hearts, restoration will linger. It will take time. Psalm 78, verse 22. Psalm 78, verse 22. Let's read. Psalm 78, verse 2. When there is unbelief in my heart, amen. He said, there are because they believed not in God and trusted not in his salvation. You believe not in God and trusted not in his salvation. Unbelief. When there is doubt, unbelief in your heart. Restoration will take long. It will take long. If you have unbelief in your heart, restoration will take long. And that is prayerlessness. Prayerlessness, Matthew 7, Matthew 7, Matthew 7, the are going to be reading from verse 7. He say, ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. It shall be opened. So when you knock at the door, that was in words. It, the door shall be opened unto you. Unto you. Hallelujah. It did not say that the door will be closed against you. No. It says the door, when you knock at the door, the door shall be opened unto you. That is an assurance. Are you not happy about this Bible verse? You should be happy. You should be happy. Hallelujah. When we knock at the door, the door will open for us. The door will open for us. What about our marriages? What is going on with our marriages? Our marriages has lost that sweetness, that sweetness, that sweet savour. And mostly Christian marriages, the enemy has decided to deal with Christian marriages because the enemy knows and understands that once he, 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 he puts hands on Christian marriages, he has got into church. Once the enemy lays hands on Christian homes, on Christian marriages, the church is finished. The church is gone. Our marriages, what is happening to it? Why have we allowed the enemy to bewitch our marriages? Why have we allowed the enemy to take over our homes? Even the people in the world, they are not as in, acting as if that's what marriage. So 
believers, they will say that even uh, worldly marriages is now better than Christian marriages. How is it possible? How is it possible? Hallelujah. Because you have opened the door for the enemy to penetrate. Because there are a lot of loopholes in marriages. Hallelujah. A lot of confusion in the home. A lot of confusion in the home. No more peace in the marriage. No more joy. That joy that you saw when you met your husband and you have lost it. That love, that love that you saw, that even when he, he did not call you for a day, you are not happy. You cannot even eat. But now we have lost it. The love is gone. The peace is gone. The joy is no longer there. You no longer pray together. You no longer communicate. You don't even want to see him. You don't even want to see her. Hallelujah. Christian marriages are in trouble. Mostly Christian marriages. I can count like how many are them now that have that are having problem as in here as I speak now. Firebrand women of God having issues with their husband. The enemy has dealt with Christian homes. The enemy has dealt with our marriages. We only come outside to pretend as if all is well. We come a flash. Hallelujah. The more you look, the less you see. We live just a common flash life. We only pretend that all is well when all is not well. Christian marriages, let us arise and take back what the enemy has stolen from us. Let us arise and take back what the enemy has stolen from our home. There are two most important things that I understand in marriage. I understand that, that the two most important things, if you want your marriage to last, these are the two most important secrets that you should put at the back of your mind. Submission and love. Submission and love. Let's open our Bible to Ephesians. Ephesians 5. Anyone that sees it should read. When a woman can submit to his husband, there will be enough love to go around. Ephesians 5. We're going to read it down. Let's not stop. We're going to finish it to 25. Because once we say Ephesians 5, they will say, oh, read up to 21. No, we're not going to stop at 21. We'll stop at 25. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5 from verse yes. 1. 5, 21 to 25. Okay. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 21, I read. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives. Submit yourselves unto your own husbands Amen. as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. And gave himself for it. Amen. So when you read Ephesians 5, don't just read 21. You know, men, they normally read 21 to their wives. So now we want to read it down. Hallelujah. We decided to read it down. Not just read 21 to her. Read it from 21 to what? To 25. So both of you can understand your duty as a wife and as a husband. Hallelujah. Love and submission. Love your wife. Don't hate her. Love her. You, the wife, submit. The husband that you cannot respect and not honor you. Hallelujah. The man that you cannot respect, he can never honor you. Love and submission. Love and submission. That is the key. Hallelujah. What is submission? Person that we should ask ourselves, what is submission? Submission is yield in totality, not just partial submission. 
not just have submission, to yield. That is submission. Not have. The whole of you, the complete of you, to yield. That's what submission means. To yield. Hallelujah. Um, Have you ever asked yourself, why is it that, what is it that makes Jacob not to give up on Rachel? Do you remember how many years that he has to serve? Can you remember? Jacob rebelled for seven years. For Rachel, younger sister, elder sister. It didn't work out. He has to serve again another seven years. Hallelujah. Jacob met his match. He met Laban. Laban was 419. Jacob was 419. So 419, jump 419. Trouble everywhere. Hallelujah. May God have mercy. There must be something about you. There must be something special about you that will make a man, once he closes from work, he's running back home. There must be something special about you as a Christian woman that will make a man, he always desire you. There must be something about something special about you that will make a man not to do without you. He sees you as his life support. Said I called Abraham my Lord. Was she stupid? Was she foolish? She's never foolish. She's never stupid. God looked at her heart. God looked at her humility. God looked at her submission and decided to bless her. Even when the Lord promised her, the blessing, it came to pass. Hallelujah. It came to pass. A more straight way, said that can two work together except they agree in any home that there is not no agreement, it is an express way for the enemy for the devil to deal with that marriage. Let there always be agreement. If you don't want the enemy to, to deal with your marriage, let that be an agreement. Always agree. Hallelujah. Restoration. Restoration. We surround us so that we can pray. We need restoration. We have cried so much. We have allowed the enemy to work against us. We have allowed the enemy to penetrate into the house of the Lord. We have allowed the enemy to take over our homes. Restoration. May the Lord restore us. May the Lord heal our marriages. May the Lord heal the church of God. May the Lord heal our families. May the Lord heal us. We have been sick for so long. Restoration will come. And the whole world will see that we have been called of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't neglect your marriage. Even when they say, can something good come out of that marriage? Tell them that something good must come out of it. They say, can something good come out of it? They should come and see what the Lord has done. They should come and see. Sometimes it might not really be easy. Sometimes it might not really be easy. Are you going to keep on holding on? Keep on holding on. Continue. Don't give up. There are some people that their husband is very stubborn, extremely stubborn. I have come to encourage you. Continue. 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 Don't give up on him. We will not allow the enemy. We are not going to allow the enemy to take the glory. All the glory must be to our God and not to any man. The Lord will help us. Hallelujah. Finally, we are going to be looking at the keys to restoration. Let's go to Ezekiel 21, 27. 
Ezekiel 21, we surrender so that we can pray. Ezekiel 21, restoration. Ezekiel 21. We're going to read uh, 27. Ezekiel 21, 27. I read. Are we overturned? Overturned. That is not my word. It is the word of the Lord concerning you. He says, are we overturned? What does it mean? It will turn it. Are we overturn it? If it's not yet your turn, the Lord will continue to overturn it until it gets to your turn. He said, I will overturn. I will continue to overturn it until you get blessed. I will continue to overturn it until I restore you. I will continue to overturn it until I bless you. I will continue to overturn it until that promise which I have said concerning you, until it is manifested. Hallelujah. Amen. And we overturn until it becomes your turn. You that is on this zoom, the Lord is giving you assurance. The Lord is promising you that He's going to overturn it. He's going to overturn it. He will keep on overturning it until it gets to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The key is to restoration, self examination. You need to examine yourself. Don't just pray. Self-examination. Examine yourself. Hallelujah. Self-examination is necessary. The last time Mommy Lucy, she preached about character. She talked to us. This was a, a, a beautiful preaching. We need to examine ourselves. Self-examination. Don't just pray. Sit down and examine yourself. If you need restoration. You need self-examination. Examine yourself. Hallelujah. It's very necessary. So that when you start to pray, you will not know the areas so that you don't miss, misfire your arrows. You don't misfire your prayers. Hallelujah. When you know the purpose why you are praying, when you pray, it goes straight. When you know the purpose why you are calling upon the Lord, the Lord answers. Hallelujah. Self-examination. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 7.2. Jeremiah 7.2. Jeremiah 7.2. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah will surround us so that we can pray. Jeremiah 7, verse 2. Jeremiah 7, verse 2. I read in Jesus' name. It says, stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim. See, Jeremiah, this is the gate. As I'm looking at you now, we're on this Zoom now. We are standing on the gate of CHMI and we are going to proclaim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord said that we should stand in the gate and speak the word. Hallelujah. When you stand Hallelujah. in the gate, you don't need to be afraid. You speak the word. Hallelujah. And when you want to speak it, you speak it with authority. Don't be afraid. Stand in the gates and proclaim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There. He, okay, let me read again. Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word. And say, yeah, the word of the Lord, CHMI, all ye of Judah, and enter into all these gates to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Lastly, the last thing that we need to do is persuasion. Persuasion. Just like David. John 16, 24. Don't keep silent. Persuasion. If you are not satisfied with your condition, don't just keep silent. Persuasion. If you want restoration, you need persuasion. Persuasion. John 16, 24. John 16, 24. We need persuasion. Persuasion. I read. He said, Hitado, have you asked nothing in my name? Ask. Ask. Have you asked? Ask your sister, have you asked? Have you asked? 
Because you have not asked. Ask and ye shall receive. That your joy might be full. Hallelujah. Let's open our mouth and begin to worship the Lord. He says, stand in the gates and proclaim. Are you ready to stand in this gate and proclaim? You are a soldier. A soldier is not tired. A soldier is always strong. Open your mouth and stand in the gate mm -hmm. and begin to speak concerning the body of Christ. Continue, open your mouth and begin to speak concerning your marriage. Open your mouth and begin to proclaim. Father, we stand in the gate and we speak to CHMI. Father, we proclaim that it shall be well with the church of God. It shall be well with our marriage. It shall be well with my body. It shall be well with my health. Open your mouth and begin to proclaim. We proclaim that we shall not be born in vain. We proclaim that Father, we proclaim that it shall be well with us. Father, we proclaim that it shall be well with us. Father, we shall be well with our family. Father, we proclaim that it shall be well with us. Father, we speak well with your authority. Because your word is powerful. Because your word is strong. Before your word is ever. My God and my God, we speak, O Lord. Father, we proclaim. Father, we proclaim. We speak with authority. We speak with authority. Father, we speak with authority. In the name of the Lord, my God. Father, we speak, O Lord. It shall be well with the church. It shall be well with the body of Christ. The enemy will not prevail against the church of God. I praise my God and my God. Because we know that it shall be well with us. It shall be well with us. It shall be well with our body. 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 My God, in the name of Jesus, it shall be well. 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 It it shall be well. 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 It shall be well
It shall be work. It shall be work. It shall be work. In every area of my life, it shall be work. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it shall be work. I am making a For the body of Christ, we're going to pray this way. Say anything that the enemy has stolen from the 
body of Christ from Shechaba. My Lord and my God, we stand in the gate. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my Father, Baba, whatever the enemy is telling no good, my Father, from the God of Christ, from Christ tonight, Lord, my Father, you are God of Christ. You are crying unto your God, my Father, God of restoration. You are God, you have said to God, God, my Father, you go to the same place. You are going to recover. Father, restore, Lord, my Father. Restore, restore. You have said you are going to restore. Restore, 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 my restore the God of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my Father, Baba, the same way, oh God, my Father, Baba, the same oh God, my Father, for Daniel, why is my Lord, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, my my Father, my my Comes from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power of Asia, it is holding the power of God. It is God, my Father, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, that is the power of God. 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 Our healing, our restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, send your angels to. In the mighty name of Jesus. going to pray. You know your glory, it what determines your shining. When your glory is in captain, you yourself you are in captain. We are going to pray. Any power that has aborted my glory, oh Lord, my Father, restore me, Lord. In, in the, the name, name, of, name, of, the name of, of Jesus, any power that has aborted my glory, restore me, my Lord, my Lord, my Father, restore me, my Lord, my Father, restore my glory, restore my glory, my glory that has been put together in the church of the people, in the church of the people, Father, Father, restore my glory, restore my glory, restore my glory. Restore my glory. that the enemy has stolen my glory, from my glory, my prayer life, my spirit, my, my power, Father, restore, God, restore, restore, restore me, Lord, 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 God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of my Father, my Father, my prayer to God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Restore me, oh God, my Father. I'm crying for restoration of my glory, oh God, my Father, Baba. Restoration of your fire, your fire of revival, oh God, my Father. Revive me, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Baba. Restoration, oh God, my Father, of your fire in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 102, verse 13 says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon me. For the time to favor me, yeah, the set time is now. Amen. The set time, not tomorrow, it is now. So if we need restoration, it is now. So we are going to pray, Lord. 
Father, I need the restoration and I need it now because my case is very urgent. In the mighty name of Jesus, I need it. Oh, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, my Father, Baba, I need restoration. I need my restoration. Oh, God, my Father, now in the name of Jesus, I need it. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, 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 my